Welcome to Seeding Knowledge. This video discusses irrigation techniques and the advantages of automating this process, as well as key considerations for implementation. Irrigation is a necessary process for plant growth, and although it can be done manually, automating this process could bring several benefits to growers. Automated irrigation or fertigation is, is really more the modern term. Irrigation is essentially the act of a control system uh, controlling uh, watering of plants, essentially not typically done by human hands. As with all types of automation, there are options to choose from. The size of the operation and the level of control required will influence how much automation is needed. A fully computerized control system incorporates all features of the simpler systems. It also adds support for a much wider range of input sensors, crop water use models, and most importantly, efficient irrigation system capacity management. Reasons for being more advanced is now we want to be able to monitor and we want to be able to alarm, we want to be, be more precise. And that's when you get into a more advanced control system. Before considering a fully computerized control system, growers can use sensors alone. This may not be the best method as they can, on occasion, fail. However, if the sensors are combined with a modeling system, the result is optimal. When you use modeling systems that are robust, plants tend to get water when they need them and not rely on any failures of the system. Another reason to use an automated system is the ability to include fertigation automation, which a simple solution normally cannot offer. Those typically don't have that ability of uh, delivering specific feeds or delivering specific feeds that are tracked, meaning we know what EC got to that plant, what nutrients, what pH, what volume of water went to those plants. One of the benefits of using an automated system is that it saves on labor costs by eliminating the need for employees to constantly monitor and water plants. Now I have employees that are no longer hand watering, no longer hand feeding. So those employees' resources are now pulled to more important tasks like maintenance, trimming of plants, other duties. In addition to labor costs, hand watering could also affect the quality of the product. Using an automated system improves how production is controlled. I'm getting the water, and then the other benefits would be alarming. I know when something went wrong. When somebody misses watering a row, there's no alarm system for that. It's just visual. A lot of the feedback I get with a lot of these growers is the, oh, now I have a lot of time to do trimming, and now our product's higher quality. Commercial growers and researchers benefit from higher amounts of control for consistency in product and data. On the other hand, there are certain applications where automated irrigation is not beneficial, such as in conservatories, where there's a variety of plants, each with their own needs. In terms of commercial, cannabis, vegetable, anything in, in, a, in a large production where you have a lot of one type of plant in the commercial side, Automated irrigation makes perfect sense. Anytime you have in a research facility where you have to guarantee things happen and you have to collect data when things happen, then that's the research side. So the research is data consistency and then commercial is consistency. Data is important, but it's because there's a lot of one type of plant. You want to be able to deliver the same irrigation fertigation. Automating irrigation in a horticultural facility is not an easy task. There are a number of factors to consider when planning and designing your irrigation or fertigation solution. How do I get this feed from the main source, water source, nutrient injection to that specific row of plants? So then you need to have a proper distribution system that can, that can manage that. So what somebody would need is they have to line out and get it themselves an irrigation or fertigation designer where they says, okay, how am I gonna line it out to best need my crop needs? So I may have sizing my distribution lines. Maybe I'll have separate feed lines for different feed recipes. In addition, the water sources need to be examined to determine if it's capable of supporting your needs. That's step one. What are my requirements? What are my water capacities? What are my water needs through a 24 hour period? Argus Controls has developed a nutrient injection system that can provide anything from a single tank formulation to many separate fertilizer recipes and feed strengths on the same irrigation system. This is all handled seamlessly by the Argus fertigation management software. So we've designed our own system to capture the whole industry. 
One example I always use is a boom controller. Boom is an irrigation device that travels across plants and waters them. So it actually, the plants will see this spray nozzle over it for just a few seconds. If you have a fertigation system or injection system that doesn't control EC or pH very well, and it has a lot of high and low swings, you could potentially uh, both not feed or damage crop when you're using a boom. So we designed our system to be very consistent in its control. Continuous improvement and development of solutions for the horticultural industry are key, and the future of irrigation controls promises more intricate, smarter systems with more sensitive sensors. Now I can give your plant specifically what it needs right down to the element. So that will be the holy grail in terms of an injection system. I can dial in exactly what your plant needs when. So I can get feedback from your plant saying, this is how much nutrients we're taking out, this is the nutrients you're gonna need on your next irrigation route. So that would be the ultimate in terms of fertigation, but really keeping it really simple, modeling is gonna be the big first one that'll come down the road. More advanced modeling. For more information, visit ArgusControls.com.